Hi there, Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at March 27th through April 2nd. So we're well and truly into April, the fourth month of the year. Spring has sprung, fall has fallen, depending on what hemisphere you live in. Now, Monday, there is a new moon in Aries, and with that new moon comes the sun, Venus, Mercury and Uranus all cramming into Aries which is your sixth house of hard work and service to others. How you feel about doing things for other people. It's really important that you focus on not only your own spiritual, mental and physical health but on what you can do for other people to make other people feel good about themselves. Service to others. What does that mean to you? Some of you might be saying, oh God, I don't want to have to do anything for anybody. And it's not like that. It might just be something that you do that you don't even think of as being a service. Maybe you, every time you go to the tea room or go down and get a coffee, you ask someone if they'd like one. And whether they say yes or no, that, that's like something that's kind of special to that person because it's, it's very nice. Do you hold the elevators open for people? Do you slam doors on people or do you open the door and help people with packages and things like that? I live in a building with a lot of units and so many times you'll be coming along with the dog and groceries and keys and you know letters and people just slam the door on you and it's like it would be so nice if you just hold the door for me so I don't have to use my key because I don't even know where my key is. They're the sort of things that I think those day-to-day -day things that people take for granted and we shouldn't take for granted because it's really nice when someone is almost old-fashioned and does something like that. Now this weekend, Venus, the goddess of love, still out of phase, slides backwards into Pisces on Sunday. And for the next two weeks, she spends in Pisces, your fifth house of romance, creativity, self-fulfillment. For those of you who feel like they let someone get away, the one you know, that got away, you may have some sort of run-in with him or her over the next two weeks. Now, whether or not it's going to be a satisfactory run-in or whether or not you're going to wish it hadn't happened, it's probably in, in how you deal with it and how you look at it afterwards and how you uh, keep your cool, which you're known for. So that will be interesting. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.